my name is Lisa Harris and I have rheumatoid arthritis and I was diagnosed in the end of 2015. Pre-symptoms, I was very, very active. I would, I did boot camps, I ran, I was big into snowboarding and everyday activity with my, my children because they were toddlers at that point in time. I started strength training because I know that it is part of a healthy body. And one of the things that I did notice that kept me going back to strength training was my joints did feel better. There are many, many benefits to strength training. We see improvements in mental health, decreased risk for chronic disease like cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes. Overall, strength training participation rates are low, and that's even for the general population. About a third of the population does strength training regularly. For people with rheumatoid arthritis, really only about 14% do strength training, so it's about half of what we typically see. In terms of resources for strength training for people with rheumatoid arthritis, they were very, very limited. I did do some searching, like through Google, not much came up. Usually it would be an article or a blog from a professional, such as a physio, but actual specific help for a lay person, there wasn't much out there. I did seek out some professional help with a physiotherapist. He's a good barometer as to whether or not I'm pushing too far. Talking to people with rheumatoid arthritis, we've identified 50 different things that play a part in whether or not we strength train. There are some individual factors, so disease-specific symptoms, things like pain and fatigue make it really hard to do strength training. Your medication side effects, even things like brain fog, having trouble remembering what your program is, those are some of the individual factors, but the barriers to strength training extend far beyond the individual. For health and exercise professionals, many of us do not know how to provide that support. One thing I found very helpful was to adapt some of the exercises or use equipment to help me get through an exercise. So we've summarized existing research to have an understanding of how we tailor our approaches for someone with RA, what the guidelines and recommendations are for strength training with rheumatoid arthritis, and what we are currently seeing not just amongst people with rheumatoid arthritis, but more generally around how we support strength training as something that we do long term. So this research is called iStart, which stands for Improving Strength Training and Tailoring Among People with Rheumatoid Arthritis and we've been developing what's called the iStart Toolkit. So it's a complementary um, tool for both practitioners as well as for patients. And the whole point is to have a guided conversation where we can co-develop an approach to strength training. To me also research is very important because it provides more knowledge, more steps. It, it helps us to live more with this disease, with rheumatoid arthritis. Research is what is going to propel us farther and closer to a cure, and also how to live with it in the meantime. So for patients, it comes with a checklist of key points to talk about with your health and exercise professional in order for you together to develop an exercise prescription. To anyone who's feeling intimidated to start strength training, I just say start small. Because any little step that you do is better than what you did yesterday if you did nothing.